welcome back everyone in this new video series we will see some of the derivations of population flags which are commonly used in ADSL dataset so some of these population flag variable creation are dependent on some of the key date variables which we have already discussed in the previous videos so in this video also we have some of the variables which are required which are dates are also added as part of the specification but I am assuming that we are clear on these concepts if you have not seen the earlier videos you can go ahead and like watch those videos before watching this series so we will see screen failure flag in this video so which says SCR FFL screen failure population flag now let us take a look at the derivation algorithm provided to us so it says create this flag using the data collected in DS dataset which means SDTM DS dataset. If a subject has a record in DS dataset with the condition DS decode is equal to did not meet entrance criteria then the subject would be called a screen failure. So they have specified on how to identify the screen failures so presence of a record in SDTM DS with DS decode is equal to did not meet entrance criteria gets classified as a screen failure so and all the other subjects they are not screen failures it says populate this flag as Y which means screen failure flag as Y for all screen failure subjects for the rest of the subjects flag this as N now let us take a look at the input data that we have and manually try to fill in the information. So the base data set for ADSL programming is our SDTM demographics data set. So here in this video series we have data for 5 subjects. So 1001 to 1005. So for the derivation of screen failure population flag the input data set that we need is disposition and we were asked to filter the records with the value of did not meet entrance criteria in DSD code variable so let us try to apply that filter for DSD code variable and then see did not meet entrance criteria so we have one subject who has the specified condition which gets classified as a screen failure. So 1001 has this record, no other subjects had did not meet entrance criteria flag. So the for this subject we need to, so if we take a look at the specification once again it says populate this flag as Y for all the screen failure subjects. So only 1001 will have a value of Y for all the other subjects we were asked to populate it as N. Now let us do that in our form data set. So I am assuming that we already have derived all these treatment date variables because for some of the other variables which we discuss in this video we will need these date variables as well. So for coming back to screen failure flag so we only had a record for 1001 so that subject will have a value of y and for all the other subjects the value would be n. So this is how we manually identify screen failure flag. So this we generally start with programming but sometimes like we may need to cross check as part of self validation or cross validation. So we will have to manually check things as well. So this approach can be used in such scenarios. So let us come back and see how to programmatically derive this. So Here we were asked to use only the records which had DSD code is equal to did not meet entrance criteria. So I am using SDTM DS dataset as input and then creating a new dataset named as SCRFFL and in this dataset I am only keeping U subject So because I only need the unique subject identifier to identify if a subject is a screen failure or not. So let us try to run this piece of code and then see what happens. So we only had one screen failure that was 1001 so we had that record. If a subject is present in this data set called SCRFFL what happens is this subject or for all these subjects we need to populate screen failure flag as Y. 
for all the other subjects we need to populate it as n so where do we get that other subjects information so we have subset of subjects identified and we are creating our ADSL so our base data set is SDTM DM data set so we need to merge this data set to our ADSL data, SDTM demographics data set and if a record is not coming from the second data set screen failure so then we need to populate it as n so if we see I am doing a merge here my screen failure subjects data set with my demographics data set based on the values in u sub id and I am trying to keep all the records which are coming from dem demographics data set so I have identified the subjects who are coming from screen failure data set using a temporary variable called j this value would be one for the sub uh, for the subjects who has a record in screen failure and for all the su other subjects it would have a value of 0 when this line 12 and 13 if we see if j then screen failure flag is equal to y else screen failure flag is equal to n so for all the subjects who are coming from screen failure data set the value of j would be 1 so this would get evaluated to true and then screen failure flag would be assigned a value of y and for the all the other subjects who does not or who are not coming from screen failure flag but present in DM will have the screen failure flag populated as n so let us run this entire piece of code once again and then see if we are getting the same results as how we have manually identified so if you see only one subject had screen failure uh, condition met so for that subject we need to have this flag as y for all the other subjects we need to have this as n so this is how we can derive screen failure flag when it is required in ADSL.